All right, so this is the piece. We'll put it up to the light. This caused me to tear out. I don't know how well that'll come out. <laughs> it's Swiss cheese. But I started grinding on this and saw that it needed to come out of there. It's like super weak. Like you can see, it wants to just flap right there. And it just, it just wants to bend over. Side there. Okay, that's good. And then push this down. Yep. Over it a little bit. Yeah. That look good. All right, hang on. Uh, a little, little dolly. Little tolly, tiny dolly. Just need Small to hammer. Get it popped down next to it. Here, let me get you the dolly. <laughs> that, and then we'll pull it back. Tack that. Well, I got it down. Got it? Yep. Okay. Now push it down a little more. Um, let me hit right where you're at. Okay. Yep. And we're going to do middle and work our way out. Sure, um, sure, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it did. It's got a little bit. It's got a little piece. Down inside. Okay. It built up high, but it did catch. Pretty good. Even down the edge, the I may lift it up on the side and just go pop, 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 and fill in all the gaps all the way around. Okay. But yeah, that's that's all even everywhere now. I like it. Oh, you're recording. Okay. Yep. Cool. Anything else to say? Tacked it up. You're ta You're or tacky. tacky. <laughs> all right. All right. It is all welded. Even found a couple spots here that had a little bitty holes that he went ahead and tacked on. We'll grind all this off. Um, all the way around, it's just a little warm. And then where this has been beat to match all this, we'll put a little skim coat over the top of that after we grind it. And then that should be all that needs to be done to this underside of the hood. It's gotta be more sanded. Much, much more, and then we will seal it or prime it, seal it, and it'll be ready for paint. So, sounds good. Still alive. Sounds good. Didn't burn himself. <laughs> Thank you.
sure how this will transfer, but that's how I made the repair. As I had a piece that came in here, and I guess that was the edge of it. There was some bad metal there as I was grinding it. Just ate that and it ate this too so I'm gonna have to put a little piece in there and a little piece in there but just ground along the whole edge that's pretty smooth I've got maybe a little hole there that didn't get welded and a little hole here maybe a little more grind in there to get that little weld edge lip out and a little more in here too but yeah, oh, and I still gotta grind this corner. But I think that's gonna be pretty good. So that's only like the second or third time or umpteenth time that I've put in a section of metal, but this was one of the bigger pieces I've ever put in. So similar to how dad was doing his fenders, uh, cut out the piece, get it fit, get it bent, get it everything, and then weld all around it and grind that edge. So. Uh, he said he might put a little bit of like filler or something to straighten it out a little bit but I said I told him I said it's got all these bends just let it fly paint it get it ground down a little bit better there's there's a few little pinholes here and there that I might just hit with the spot welder so I'll do that and get it cleaned up off camera you'll I'm sure you'll see this in another video all right so this is the piece We'll put it up to the light. This caused me to tear out. I don't know how well that'll come out. <laughs> it's Swiss cheese. But I started grinding on this and saw that it needed to come out of there. It's like super weak. Like you can see it wants to just flap right there. And it just, it just wants to bend over. So... This was the piece that Pops did uh, that I welded in for him. And that was good metal, but then there were a couple spots that were just suspect that I filled in that I found good metal to marry up to that they did okay. But this whole piece, as I was just grinding, when I was grinding these, I was just grinding this off too. And I was just seeing like little spots show up and I was like, man, I can't do that. So this piece is the piece that I dotted all around just now in the video and got it ground down today uh, and then i found another spot right here that i had to put another piece of metal into and kind of weld onto that too so i had to rebuild the nose here but uh ended up getting it all ground down i think he said he was gonna duraglass over some stuff uh i may hit a couple more spots here and there that still look like uh, it's not a pinhole. That's just something in the in the weld there, that one in particular. But uh, may go back through and do a couple more little spotting and grinding and finish this, and then I think he's going to continue to sand and do his hood work. So a lot more to do, but I think I don't know if he'll film much more of this because it's basically normal work, not Daytona work, and this is kind of normal work too. Uh, but these 70 hoods, he's got four of them, and all four of them have, this was the best one, and I replaced this whole dang thing. So, in any event, Body Work 101, replace everything. <laughs>